2003 Ford F350 Power Stroke. 356,745.1 miles on the odometer. Customer states lost power steering while driving, which it does not have power steering. It said the battery light comes on, the AC light, uh, or the AC turned off, and uh, they had it towed in. It starts and runs, no power steering. Battery warning light, check engine warning light, seatbelt warning light, door open warning light. I think that's all the warning lights. Let's see what's under the hood. Something's going on here. This is awesome. So we've got our regular lug nuts, but then they put on some uh, <laughs> some spline drive uh, decorative lug nuts on top of these lug nuts. I've never seen it before, but I mean, I, I can get down with that. That's kind of cool. Uh, what do we got in here? It's a diesel, 7.3. Yeah, that's a negative. This is a 6.0. It's a 6.0 power choke. I do believe I have located the issue. Uh, it appears that the belt is broken and missing, which would explain why we have the warning lights. Now, usually when a belt comes off, one of the pulleys breaks or uh, locks up, something like that. Here, let's crawl around down under, see if we can't see uh, what killed this belt. Oh, what do we got? There's not much here to see. Lots of stuff in the way. Oh, uh, we got a big crank pulley. And there's the AC. I wonder if that's what did it. Oh, I see some metal on there. Oh yeah, we got a winner. The AC compressor has locked up. Oh yeah, take a look at that. The pulley is hitting one of the bolts in the compressor right here. So that pulley is not running straight at all. That's uh, totally locked up. Okay, needs a compressor. It's gonna be fun. Okay, so here's the plan. Uh, we're obviously gonna change that compressor uh, and that belt. Because we're doing a compressor, I think we ordered a kit that comes with a condenser. That's not here yet. I do have a compressor over there on the floor, but the kit's gonna come with a condenser and uh, probably another receiver dryer slash accumulator. Organization is important. One thing that really bugs me is every single fastener on this truck has been touched at one point. And it, this whole thing is full of stuff like this cracking and this damage right here. So I, I need to take some extra special care to not uh, break things further. This rubber is held in with a bunch of these plastic push clips. Another. down to the right front wheel. We're gonna pull off our decorative lug nuts and then get the regular lug nuts. Gravity. Oh no! Scratching the spray paint. That one was loose. work on this inner fender. I know this has to come out. Wrong socket. Yeah, that's weird. It's uh, an 11 millimeter. Gravity. Next up we have the infamous Ford 5.5 millimeter fasteners. Why? I don't know. Don't know why they make them in 5.5 millimeters. I have counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws holding on this uh, little fender or uh, mud flap thing right here. But hey, at least they're not drywall screws. Oh, 
Oh, I think there's more. There is more at the bottom. There's always another or two and a plastic clip. Oh, this is a long one. All right. Oh, there's another one. Way up top, caked under the mud. forced my hand. I win. Okay, Fender. We're coming out. Ow. It's stuck. It's stuck on the, uh, the spring tower over there. Like right in here. That's fine. We'll just unstick it. Come here, plastic. I will not suffer you. There we go. It's coming out now. Okay. Now we can get to what we need. Gravity. Sort of. Yeah, there's the compressor back in there. It's supposed to come out through like right here. Okie dokes, now that this stuff's out of the way, I need to point out that it is so dirty in here that it's hard to even see where the bolts are for uh, some of this stuff. Uh, I already reached in and unplugged this compressor. Yeah, if you look right here, you can see this pulley's locked up and it's running sideways. So the shaft bearing failed on this unit or the clutch collapsed somehow, I'm not really certain. It's hard to see. <laughs> There was a uh, there's a ground strap right here that was bolted to the frame, and I found this other wire here, and the bolt was running through the wire, sandwiching that to the, the frame rail as an auxiliary ground. Uh, I can't say that's how I would have done it, but it appears to be working out, kind of. Yeah, that's some tomfoolery right there. I don't even know what to do about that. What can you do? I could sell them a new wire. Well, anyway. Uh, so I've got the AC machine recovering the refrigerant. Surprisingly, this all did not leak down. So uh, when that's done, I can take the manifold off of this compressor and then I can work on the bolts. We've got one at the top and then two down below. We'll have to get at it from, from this angle down here. All right, so I moved you guys in onto the frame rail. Uh, this is gonna be as good as it gets regarding the view of what's going on here. I'm gonna go in for this manifold bolt with a low profile 10 mil. I think it's a 10. Who knows, it's some weird Ford stuff. It could end up being like 11, but I've got to get the bolt out for this uh, AC manifold. Kind of a tight squeeze, a lot. This is hard to do. I think I can unclick it. These angles are totally killing me right now. I can feel the socket and it wants to slip. The problem is if it does slip, as soon as it rounds off that bolt, it's uh, kind of game over for me. And I'm sorry this battery cable here is in the way you can't see, I, I, I can't do anything about it. Oh, that's not gonna come off either. My spline drive, flex head ratchet wants to slip. I wonder if I can come at it from the back side. Let's try that. Let's try going at it from this way. Maybe I can get a better angle overall. Yeah, that actually might work. Let's try that. Ah, unclickage. There we go. Yeah, this is a, huh, a remain calm and take your time kind of job. If there's anything else, it's just gonna be a huge headache. Yeah, it's come down to this. 
I'm gonna get it though. I, I am gonna get it. I don't care if I've got to take the cab off. I'll do it. All right, let's break the seal here. Need to just kind of get under it and pry it upwards. Here it comes. That's half of it. Bigger pry bar, don't make me do it. There we go. See, you threaten it with a little pry bar and it capitulates. Man, this is a this is a mess. This thing's like a total mess. Okay, I'd like to get that line slash manifold assembly out of the way, but it's a pretty stiff hose. So I'm just gonna detach it over here. drop some stuff all right that's mostly free um, let's disconnect it over here at the condenser as well the condenser is coming out anyway so we can get some maximum uh, motion out of it with this disconnected crusty Okay, maximum wiggling has been achieved. Okay. Come here, manifold. I would like you to be out of my way. Oh, it's stuck on a belt tensioner. There it goes. That thing is rough. All right, back down below, we can see with that manifold out of the way, we still don't have any room here, uh, but we can at least see the compressor now, so which is good. So uh, like I said, we got one bolt on the top, um, right, right here. Here, that one right there. And then there's another one or two more down below it. So uh, let's get that one first. It looks like a 13 millimeter. All right, let's see if this is gonna, gonna fit in this hole here. Yeah, this whole job might end up being ratchet wrenches. Reverse click. That was a good one. Now the instructions tell me that the one, the bolt on the left and at the bottom, can't come out because there's a frame in the way so it has to remain in the compressor and then it'll come out as the compressor is removed there's one okay uh, we're crawling around down below I'm trying to get to those bottom compressor bolts um I think if you look through here, yeah, if you look right through there and up through that next hole in the cross member, you can see what resembles to be a bolt. Uh, however, if you look at it straight on, it's not visible, but it is right about here or so. So I, I need to figure out how to get that bolt out next. I've actually been tinkering with it for uh, about half an hour. Uh, I'm, I'm coming up dry on a lot of things here. This is becoming exceedingly frustrating. So before I lose my patience and cut a hole in the frame, I'm going to try something sneaky. And that's not going to work. Offset's too great. Oh no. Not right now, phone. Do 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 do. This is sad. Okay. Let's just try the same tactic with a ratcheting wrench. If I can at least like get a tool on the fastener try to work with that see that works but there's no way I can put leverage on it to actually turn it hmm. oh what do I do woe is me hey, I got somewhere there's a tool on it now hey, I think I got it look I got the one wrench on the other wrench that might be enough to break that bolt loose let's try it or I break my tool Probably the tool. Sketchy. That's not gonna happen. Nope. Failed attempt. After a whole lot of contortioning, 
right here I have a tool on the bolt right there. But I don't know if I can like apply leverage to it or not. I'm trying here. I have to I gotta climb out and get up a little bit higher. I'm laying down right now. Okay. Yes. If you wanted to try. If I can get this to crack loose, I might be able to do it, but man, I don't know. Like I said, I'm tempted to cut a hole in the frame. Filthy. Yeah. Oh, did I get it? I either broke my tool or it came loose. Oh, I think it came loose. Wow, this is awesome. I'm gonna win. And then this is the bolt that they said doesn't actually come out. Nope. You gotta leave it in, loosen it, and leave it yeah, you in, the, in the compressor while you're taking the whole thing out. Yeah, oh, I lost my, my nut. All again, fell off. Well, I'll leave it as ratchet and tent if I want it. Please shorter, do, yeah, yeah. Shorter, and you might be able to get your hand on it, and you can at least move it. Oh, this is funny. Uh, I don't remember ever doing it through there. I always did it from underneath. And wait until you get it loose anyway. Still a pain has to get it out. Oh, I know, because it's got to stay with the compressor. Just like the, uh, just like Crown Vix. Well, I meant the whole compressor's a pain in the ass. Oh, I know. Why well, the fender well is gone. Oh, I read the labor time. I'm like, oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll leave it on the seat. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. My finger only like had two or three more bends in it. All right. So I'm not kidding. I'm holding this uh, bolt and this ratchet with my left finger through that little hole. And then with the right hand, I'm just, I'm reaching up and over and I'm getting this fastener out one click of the ratcheting wrench at a time, which is actually frustrating and painful. So I'll be I'll be back in about 20 minutes when I get this fastener unthreaded. Okay, some miracle has occurred. Look at that. If I reach in both of these holes and kind of reach back and give it the pinch, I can uh, I can twist this bolt out. You can't see, but I'm actually making some headway here by some uh, unbelievable miracle. Yeah, you see the ball right there. It's it's coming out. Not easily. I'm giving myself carpal tunnel syndrome. I'm eating dirt, like, like diesel dirt. Tasty. Oh, it hurts to keep doing this. I can feel it, it's almost all the way out. I just gotta close my eyes and just get through this. Uh huh. And there's one more to go, which shouldn't be as difficult. Shouldn't be. I said the words. Yeah, I'm, I really think I should have just like cut a hole in the frame right here. Thing would have come right out. But I really hate doing things like that, so I won't. Ugh, come on. I'm feeling the pain running up my forearm. All right, that's all I got. Oh, I gotta take a break. All right. All right, bolt number three time. Which it looks like it's another 10 millimeter and it's way, way up here. You see my wobbly? Let's first figure out if that's a 10 or not, which it is, the 10 goes on it. All right, I think I can get this one out. A bit easier. We'll see. I've already uh, put the top bolt back in. That's not coming loose. I put the top bolt back in. That way, it holds the compressor uh, flush against the block, reducing how much friction is going to be on these bottom bolts, so I can actually work them out. Here, let's extend the extensions a little bit. Put that back on. All right, 
got the ratchet on again socket is seated reverse clicking now Ugh. or not is that tight enough someone's been here before that's for sure Ugh. holy smokes one more time full body yeah I had my foot against the brake rotor and I was pushing against it and pulling on the ratchet just to get this to break loose. But I got it. Oh, so once I get this one out, I'll go back into the fender well and uh, take that top one out again and then try to fish this thing out now the rear bolt the one I was just uh, having so much trouble with that's still in the compressor because you have to remove the compressor in order to remove the bolt from the compressor but it's unthreaded enough where it's no longer in the engine block so I guess that's I guess that'll work Like that is the way. Come on. I am for real, Miss Jackson. I can see why this compressor is supposed to take four hours. Cause it really does take four hours. There's so much garbage falling from this truck. I'm doing some gum right now and I keep, I keep crunching on stuff. I'm like breathing in airborne dirt chunks. And my gum is catching it. Is this thing out yet? Ah, my eye just caught some dirt chunks behind my glasses. Danger. Safety sprints are engaged. Oh yeah, I can't get that one out either. Okay, so both of those have to stay in. Let's go back into the fender well, get the top bolts out again. And you guys, look at this. You may never have seen me uh, at this level of nasty, like it's terrible. Let me go take a shower and a pressure washer. All right, I just took a took a break, washed up. That was fun. I got some gloves this time, because I don't think I got to reach through stuff. Uh, like I said, I do have this top bolt in again, so I need to fish that out again. Oh, and it's tight. Yeah. See, now the the weight of the compressor is on this bolt. It's uh, a little bit more reluctant to come out. I need a tool again. Oh, the fatigue is great. I got a lot of it. Yeah, it is in a day too. This isn't the only thing I've done today. So I think that gives me a reason to be a little, a little tired here. I'm just really hoping I can get this thing out without taking some more stuff off. I just dropped, uh, well, whatever, I'll, find, I'll get that later. I just dropped everything. Oh man. Oh, I'm not gonna get it later, it's still wedged in. I need to get it, ow. Oh, okay, this is gonna be tough. I'm reaching back in again on the, with the left hand here. Hung up somehow on something. What's what is this? I can't get a good enough purchase on it to like take the weight and try to maneuver it. It's just there. Oh. Yeah, 
already moved some. Let's get this. Uh, let's get this bolt out. Do do do. All right. Now it's just gonna come right out, aren't you? Let's move some of these uh, auxiliary ground wires and battery cables and stuff out of the way. Let's get this out of here. Hey, look, I found some of the belt. There we go. There's a bunch of the belt. Yeah, it should. I should be able to get come right right up through here. Right? It has to because any alternative is just gonna be horrific to process mentally. Oh man, look at that. I got it. This legitimately took about two hours. I, I got her. I got her out guys. Hooray. Woo, everybody, give yourself a pat on the back. Enjoy the moment. We've got uh, we got a little bit of victory here. Good job, everyone. Good job. Thanks for sticking with me on this one. Okay. Now, now we get to do it again in reverse order because I got a, a new compressor. All right. To the bench with you. Oh. We've got some light and kind of a closer look. We can see the clutch is running into the housing. Seized up. Huh? Good time. Look at it. Pulleys into the housing on the bolts. Oh yeah. Like it is. it is. It's running sideways, man. That bell bearing is gone. Is what it is. It wasn't the well. It wasn't the shaft bearing. It was the actual clutch the housing bearing. itself. Yeah. Right. I wonder if I can get it to come off. Supposed to reuse that. Oh yeah, no, that thing's not. It's not gonna budge. Yeah, no way. It's not gonna budge. Alright, we have a new unit. It's a UAC made in Korea. That's what the box says. And this has been opened before because it's uh resealed with some packing tape. All right, um, hey, good job. Wrong one, look at that. Look at that right there. I'm counting like seven teeth on the pulley. I think it's seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's seven, I knew that. And then five on this one, one, two, three, four, five, yeah. Okay, back again, day two on this yellow, uh, 350 with the blown up compressor. Um, I have to put my foot in my mouth on this one. See, I had uh, originally assumed that this compressor was the wrong compressing unit because we've got a seven pulley, or seven rib pulley here and a five rib pulley here. In fact, what I've come to learn is this compressor that came off of the truck is actually the wrong one. This is for like an F-150 or something like that that has a five ribbed uh, belt. It turns out that what happened is they replaced the original compressor with this specific unit which had a smaller pulley than the original size and so they just moved it down to a five rib belt instead of a seven rib belt. So it was completely wrong the entire time. Uh, that being said, I'm, I'm gonna end up using this one. So monologue over, let's get back to work. I'm gonna try this with gloves this time because it took me like two pressure washers and six showers and a bunch of hand scrubbing to, to get all that filth off of me from yesterday and it's, it's still on there. And I don't wanna do that again today. So uh, having said that, Let's get back in that fender well and see if we can't get this thing back together. So if you remember the clearance trying to squeeze this unit out of the truck was uh, kind of a bear. And also if you remember, I mentioned that these bolts have to be installed in the brackets in order to get them to fit into the unit because there's no place to put the bolt in once it's in position. Uh, that being said, I don't want them falling out. So I'm going to actually install some O-rings on these bolts right here. These O-rings are going to serve to retain it in the compressor so they can't fall out while I'm trying to move it around. It's a small extra step, but it's well worth it in the future. I'm just kind of sliding this ring over the shaft of the bolt 
and I want to set it up in a good middle position like so. So that way it'll be retained where it's supposed to be. It won't fall out very easily and it uh, should make my life a little bit easier. Because it's the little things that count. Can't really get a good purchase on that one, so I'll just thread it. There. A little further. A little further. That's good. Yep, not going anywhere. See? Back to the truck. All right, let's get that maneuvering business handled now. Um, I'm leaving this cap on, that way none of the oil can come out. I've already set the oil charge off camera. I'm sure you guys can understand I've got to edit out a lot of stuff and just emit a lot of stuff. because Otherwise we'd be here all day. I, I know some of you wouldn't mind, but I'd also never get anything done. Um, no, this is, yeah, patience is a virtue, Ray Ray. Calm down. I'm getting like these flashbacks of yesterday's horror the pain literally pain like I had like borderline carpal tunnel in my hand when I got home just from fiddling with that uh, that little bolt down there and I'm about to go down the same road again I think all right it's kind of kind of in I'm giving it the Erico style reach around from under the manifold again. So just like uh, in yesterday's events, I'm gonna get this in position. I'm gonna put the big bolt in to locate it and take the weight. And then I can go back down and fiddle with those other bolts. I'm not excited. You know, I, Halfway through this, I said to myself, I wish I pulled the cab off. But our facility here is also not very conducive to such operations, so uh, that could have that could have turned out worse than I thought. Uh, ooh, we're getting somewhere. The bolt's almost gonna go in. Are you gonna thread? Are you? Are you? Hmm. All right, this this unit here is uh, suspended from that bolt, I think by like one thread. So uh, I would like to uh, start tightening that down. Okay, it has to be careful. There's literally one thread holding this compressor to the block right now. Just wanna go ahead and get this thing started. Draw it in. I'll reach, I'll reach in in a moment and make sure there's a bottom two bolts. Bottom two bolts, loud noises. Just make sure it's still right down. Yeah, I wanna make sure that they're aligned with their holes as well. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, I think I'm getting somewhere now. I got this bolt started and then the one in the front below it started. Uh, those are the two uh, easy ones. I haven't gotten that rear one yet. That real bear of a bolt that took me like two hours to remove yesterday. That one's not started yet. I, I can barely even put my fingers on it. Yeah, we'll do that one last. Okay, well, the unit's in. That's a, I guess that's an improvement. Let's get this, uh, whatever this is, connector, get that out of there. Yeah, this game right here is uh, definitely requiring patience. Running out of patience is not gonna be good. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, top one's in, the bottom two are threaded. Let's go down below with the wobbly extension and tighten up that easy to reach bottom one. 
Wow, look at all the truck crust that fell out of this thing. That's dirt that was trying to find its way into my mouth yesterday. Look, it happened again. This is what I wanted to avoid. That's great. All right, we're going in. Got our wobbly extension and I'm out of the line of fire uh, when it comes to the falling debris. Let's get this one bolt snugged up. Actually, I can I could probably apply torque to this while I'm here because I've got the other two threaded. One's in all the way and one is in like 10%. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and go for glory on this one. Snap. Oh, could you imagine? No. Break the bolt off. Remove engine. Click. All right, there's one. Let's uh, let's get that uh that one that's hard to get to. Coming on out. Okay, I'm gonna go back into this and start on that last bolt. I want to stick you guys in here just so you can see where it's at if you can. You're gonna look right right around this area. I think you should be able to see your sticking out down there. Yeah, there it is. There it is right down there. And there's, you can see there's nothing but frame in the way. I've got to reach down, tighten that, and then apply torque to it. So uh, there's going to be nothing to see here except for me struggling and grunting and sweating. So I'll be back as soon as that bolt's tight. Thank you. All right. I'm still, uh, still messing with this. I'm going to try a different approach. Uh, see, I found that, that O-ring is making this harder to turn by hand. And since I got it out most of the way just by using my fingertips, that's not going to be an option this time. So I'm just here turning this thing uh, one or two degrees at a time. This is one of those situations where I actually uh, am looking at my work through the camera because I don't have any way to see it. The angle's not even right and I can't get a straight line of sight on this. So the, the camera actually is helping me out as a valuable tool here. Weird. Uh-oh. Wrench gravity, oh no. Come back. <laughs> All right guys, once this bolt is in, this, uh, this compressor will be at least installed on the block and the rest of it's gonna be kind of smooth sailing. Um, this job is taking a lot longer than I was hoping it was going to. I'd like to go ahead and close this video out right now to save us all a little bit of time. Um, I will make another one, uh, maybe in a day or so, finishing up the rest of the stuff on this. Uh, but as for right now, I think we got through the, the, the most interesting part of everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and thank you guys for watching. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. I, uh, I hope you didn't take pleasure in, in my suffering. Um, I know some people may and that's fine, you know. But I think most of you liked this video. If you did, you know the drill. Let me know about that by tapping tap that like button down below. If you didn't like this video, that's okay. I constructively accept your criticism if it is constructive. <laughs> uh oh, gravity. So again, and as always, everybody, thank you for watching. And most importantly, have yourselves a great day. See you guys later. And that's something. One turn at a time. See you guys later. Catch you on the next one.